All right, so let's look at a basic example. Um, we're dealing with still a fairly simple function, um, quadratic, right, but not linear. Uh, we want to use differentials to approximate the value of f at 3.1. Um, so how do we proceed with this? Well, the first thing we might do is compute the differential, right? So for y equals f of x, which is x squared, we know that dy, by definition, is f prime of x times dx. And of course, in this case, f prime is just 2x. Okay. All right. So now we have to choose a value for x, which is going to give us a corresponding value of dx. Uh, that's going to come out to give us this 3.1. And of course, you want to choose you want to choose this value as close to the thing you're trying to approximate as possible, right? And typically, you're going to go for something simple, like an integer value. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take x to be um, 3, then delta x is going to be 0 0.1, right? And that means that dy is going to be equal to 2 times 3 times 0 0.1, which is 0 0.6. OK? All right, so what do we do with that dy? Um, well, what we do now is, is remember that, that we know that delta y is approximated by dy, right? And we also know that delta y is, in this case, f at 3.1 minus f at 3. So that means that f at 3.1 is approximately f of 3 plus dy, OK? f of 3, 3 squared is 9. So it's 9 plus 0 0.6, which, of course, is 9.6. Okay? So there's our approximation. Now, in this case, I mean, you could, you could, have, done, you could have done the calculation, right? You could have, you could have done 3.1 times 3.1 and worked that out, and you get 9.61, right? It's not that hard. Okay. Even though it's not that hard, the point is that this is slightly easier and it's pretty close to the right answer, right? We're, we're off by 0 0.01. And for a lot of applications, off by 0 0.01 is probably good enough. So we, we live with it, right? And this is an example where, yeah, this calculation is not so bad, but, you know, what if, what if my function was something like, I don't know, like a cube root function or, or like a seventh power or something like that? And, and, and what if I didn't have something like simple like 3.1? What if I had something like, you know, 3.0682 or something, right? Um, you know, this calculation I can still do on a pocket calculator and it's still pretty easy. This is still going to come out to be maybe a little bit harder, right? So generally, the linear approximation using differentials it's less work. It's not exactly right, but it's approximately right. And in a lot of applications, approximately right is good enough.